What's up everybody? I'm Alex Kemp and welcome to Shapeshift Studio B. Today we're going to be going over the parabolic umbrellas, how to set them up on your strobe, and why they're a great source of light. Okay, you're going to start with your strobe on the light stand just like this. And I've got one of the parabolic umbrellas here with diffusion cloth. I'm going to quickly grab a standard reflector. It's important to grab the reflector that has the little slot in it and you're going to line up that slot with the bottom of the strobe. Push it in, turn it to lock it. Let's turn this around for you guys so you can see it. So the slots here lines up with the umbrella holder at the bottom. We'll grab the umbrella. And because I want to use diffusion on it, before I open it up, I'm going to grab the diffusion cloth. And there will be a little hole at the top. We're going to feed the umbrella through that. And then we'll open it up inside the diffusion cloth. Give it a little shake just like that and boom. That's really a great way to do it if you're by yourself and you don't want to finagle putting on the diffusion once the umbrella is open. So now that it's open, we'll go ahead and take it. We'll feed it through the slot here and through the umbrella holder on this. Parabolic umbrellas are awesome because they're huge and they're going to give you a ton of soft light especially when you diffuse it. And the cool thing is, the further out the umbrella is from the strobe, the more spread out your light's going to be. That's where the parabolic comes in. So if you pull the umbrella through even further and bring the strobe closer to the umbrella, you're going to focus that light more towards the center and create more of a hot spot on your subject. To remove it, simply undo the diffusion just like that. Pull it out, collapse the umbrella, make sure all the bottom part's straight, and we've got a strap on it here. We'll pop it back into the case, keep it nice and fresh for you guys, and then we'll just take the diffusion from the top, just like this. We'll fold the edges in, and then we'll just kind of roll, fold it onto itself, and tuck it back in the case, keep it nice and clean. Zip it up, and you're good to go. 